There's a lot of talk at the moment about a second referendum on Brexit and that's in part because it could be a way of breaking the current uh, deadlock in Parliament uh, on whether we should have a deal or no deal Brexit and it's in part because there's been increasing support for a second referendum amongst Remain voters. But there's a lot of uncertainty about the nature of such a vote. And first of all, let's not forget that neither of the major parties uh, are advocating a second referendum as their main policy, even though Labour is a bit more ambiguous on the question. And also, we don't know what the outcome of such a vote would be, um, and what would even be the question that would be in the ballot. So Remain voters might want an in-out referendum or a three-way choice between May's deal, no deal uh, and Remain. Uh, but for May, if she were to call a second referendum as a way out of the deadlock, she might be tempted to have a vote between her deal or no deal. And that would leave Remainers in a difficult situation because would they boycott the vote or would they go for May's deal as a way of avoiding a no deal? And what would be the outcome of a vote, uh, a second referendum? We've seen a shift towards uh, more support for Remain over the last few months. But it's only a small shift and we don't know whether that would in fact materialise in a big Remain majority in a second re referendum. Some of that would depend on what would be the main themes that would emerge in a referendum campaign and also who would be mobilised more to turn out. Would it be the Remain voters who fear a disaster of a no-deal Brexit or would it be the Leave voters who feel betrayed uh, by their first vote not being heard and respected. So it's really impossible to tell what the outcome would be.